And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, as of recently, a special shout out to all the Gungans out there as well. And of course, the droids, Katamudi, Luka Konis, Twilux, Togrudas, Gong Droids, whatever you might be. Let me tell you, it's great to be in the Empire today. And of course, you're watching Arnold Holland News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. Uh, speaking of choices, I don't know what choices CG's making over there at Capital Games. Uh, I guess there's an upside to it, but a very weird decision from Capital Games in regards to their brand new Gungan Phalanx, the latest addition to the Gungan crew, the tank that honestly we've been waiting for probably the most important unit outside of boss dance and of course eventually the legendary jar jar bink that's gonna do a lot of the tanking stuff that we've been asking for but uh, <laughs> all right get out over let me show you what's going on here uh <laughs> you know so a while ago they were asking for feedback on conquest omicrons which mathematically conquest omicrons are just the least love you know omicron in the game However, in the infinite wisdom of Capital Games, they're giving a first here, a Galactic Challenge Omicron on the Gungan Phalanx here that we have. Um, sometimes I feel like CG, they don't understand their own game or they don't understand their community. I've heard a wide variety of ideas, wants, dislikes, all that stuff in Galaxy Heroes. I could safely say, I don't think I heard a single person ask for a Galactic Challenge Omicron. If the people don't want it for Conquest, why would they want it for Galactic Challenge, which is always a different thing. And of course, uh, the biggest thing is obviously, well, I guess we can safely assume we're probably gonna have a lot, a lot of Gungan Galactic Challenges and uh, who knows, they're probably gonna require the Omicron to actually get the red crate. But beyond that, I really don't see the value of all this stuff here. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll talk more about that, but I was like, I had, I had to read them like GC. I mean, is, are we talking galactic challenges here? And indeed we are. Anyways, marquee event this Thursday, 11 a.m. Pacific time is when we're gonna have them show up to the party. So we'll be doing lots of testing. I just wanna put it out there in case you haven't been making it to the live streams uh, for Grand Arena. As I said, already for the past couple of kit reveals here, I see myself using the Gungans and I've actually been utilizing the Gungans inside of Grand Arena, using them against a variety of separate things, easily dunking on Admiral Trench, for example. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like people believe yeah, he's not a Conquest unit, but anyways, but there's other things that people are doing, taking on Qui-Gon Jinns, which is kind of impressive out there. Some people taking out Zori Blisses, so, you know, uh, Iden Versios, even some things like Grand Inquisitor, things that we saw in our initial testing that we've done with these core three, we're seeing it out there in the wild as well. So really impressed to see that these guys are already getting the work done. A complete inverse of the Inquisitors. The Inquisitors were not usable when we had all the before Grand Inquisitor. They were barely usable with the Grand Inquisitor. It took Reva, but right now with just three Gungans, I'm using them quite frequently in Grand Arena. Very impressive stuff. So let's go talk about this tank here that we have going on. Gains Taunt 1. The Allied Shield Generator loses multiple stacks of Plasma Shielding in a turn. As we said, this the even though they're already doing great stuff the tank is really going to define how far is this team going to be able to go and now we're seeing ways when people are trying to blitz down that shield we're going to get this taunt popped up on this guy so a lot of ways that we're going to get that taunt pop lock and drop and i, I still can't believe a galactic challenge oh my crap you just know someone's someone from cg is going to put in uh Put it in the questionnaire. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting a Galactic Challenge Omicron all my life. You know those questions are planted sometimes. Anyways, kit reveal. Let's do it. Fierce Poke, basic ability. Deal uh, physical damage to the target enemy and inflict defense down for one turn. And if the target already had defense down, apply daze for one turn. So new debuff that the Gungans are going to have at their utility. Def uh, daze here. And they already are spamming a lot of debuffs out on the enemy. And then whatever the Phalanx attacks an enemy out of turn, which we're going to get a lot of that, for example, with, uh, you know, for example, Tarples calling assists and all that fun jazz. The weakest Gungan allies gain three protection over time. Now, that's not protection up. That's like heal over time. But for protection, as we know, this team is very protection heavy. So this is actually going to be a big deal. However, in my experience, as long as that shield generator's up, I feel like I always have 100% protection on my team. It's actually quite nutty how durable it is, but it will be important for the Gungan Phalanx, who's going to be trying to guard your team. But more importantly, that shield generator. So we're probably going to maybe see it, us take more damage, because right now the biggest problem for the Gungans has been the enemy team. They just literally, they're hard-coded. The blitz down the shield generator. Even Darth Revan, who's always been going for the lead, 
it's the one time i've ever seen darth Vader abandon his priority target of the lead and going for the generator that's how nuts the developers have coded these gungans and that makes sense because these gungans when that shield generator is up they literally feel next to invincible and then we are uh, our special one hey yo watch out cool down of uh, four turns here deal physical damage to all enemies inflict tenacity down to make those debuffs even easier to lock in and if the enemies were separatists also inflict provoked for two turns which can't be copied to spell or resisted and then the phalanx taunt for one turn so this is gonna be one way the phalanx taunts but as we already kind of spoiled it a little bit when the shield generator is losing multiple stacks of its generator or the plasma shielding it's gonna get a, another taunt opportunity or so if the phalanx is already taunting instead recover 20 percent protection oh <laughs> I, I, have, I have high hopes for what this team's gonna be bringing into the future here. I mean, just imagining what the tank is gonna do, as long as that shield generator is up, it's gonna be a very durable team, I think, especially just seeing what the core three is able to do. Then we have our special two, raise the shield. Cool down of four turns. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a first order stormtrooper vibes where he's able to dispel all the debuffs on himself, deal physical damage to target enemy, and then deal an additional instance of damage equal. Whew. This could be quite nutty, my friends, especially the gun gets taken their max health, converting into max protection. Check it out. We're going to deal into damage equal to 10% of the gun gets, uh phalanx max protection, inflict vulnerable on all separatist enemies for two turns. And again, I've so far been able to dunk on pretty much every separatist team. I mean, this just sounds like, you know, the, <laughs> the inevitable doom of them. Again, kind of weird because separatists aren't like top shelf meta. But maybe there's something around the corner that will make a more top shelf meta. Anyways, inflict vulnerable all except those uh, enemies for two turns. So, you know, basically guaranteeing critical hits, which can't be copied, dispelled, evaded, or resisted. So can't even cleanse it off. Gungan allies. New mechanic here. Shield up. So uh, a, little, a little bit uh, confusing. You know, it's not bonus protection, but here, they, 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 they describe it here. Gungan allies gain shield up 25% for two turns, and the phalanx gains retaliate for two turns which can't be copied so what the shield up is you're going to gain a shield based on max protection so you have let me explain it this way you have max health but then you have bonus protection which is based off your max health right you're following me and then the way i'm understanding this shield up is based off of your max protection so it's a third layer that we're getting on top of it so that's the way i'm interpreting it i think they could have maybe called it something a little bit differently but it is what it is i suppose retaliate Whenever this character is damaged by an attack, deal 20% of the damage received per stack to the attacker as true damage. And this damage can't defeat enemies. This basically feels like Steadfast Retribution. You know your favorite modifier inside of Conquest? Well, it looks like this guy is going to have a degree of that with this whole retaliate mechanism. And then we have the unique ability, which has that wonderful <laughs> thinking of galactic challenge omicron again i'm gonna sell this to you this is a positive just give me a second not even the fact that they're gonna force these gungans and maybe even need the omicron for the galactic challenge red crate no there's a benefit here just hear me out at the start of the battle phalanx loses 75 percent max health gains that much max protect so same drill with all the other gungans incredibly durable as we're gonna see whenever a phalanx is not damaged by an enemy on the next other gungans turn that ally gains potency up for one turn Phalanx will assist and remove eight stacks of recharge from the allied shield generator. So remember, we have the plasma shield, then we have the recharge. You kind of want the stacks of recharge to go down quickly because then you can do the basic ability on the shield generator, get a bunch of effects. The plasma shielding is what you want to keep up and running before the shield generator gets defeated when those stacks get depleted. So being able to remove eight stacks of recharge is a lot. I suspect we're going to get a lot more basic abilities out of that shield generator. And if the allied shield generator loses two or more stacks, here we go. Uh, the plasma shield. Oh. If the allied shield generator loses two or more stacks of plasma shielding in a single turn, phalanx taunts for one turn. So when you get a couple of assists on a shield generator, it's going to taunt. But let's keep reading here. Whenever the phalanx uses the ability while taunting, he gains 2% max protection stacking for the rest of the encounter. So he it's right now. Uh, I need to. Obviously, it's a new unit, but they're just from what I've seen so far, maybe it's because there's been no tank and they've always been going straight for the generator. I just rarely see the Gungans losing any protection. Like in, in Grand Arena, I've always been getting full banners with the team. But now that we have someone taking up the heat away from the generator, it's going to probably be a bit more important, of course. But remember, more max protection equals more of that true damage that he's able to do that 10% based off his max protection. 
Whenever the allied shield generator is destroyed, we kind of got like this last uh, stand clause here. Phalanx recovers 50% protection and Gungan allies dispel all debuffs on themselves. Kind of nice. If there's an active ally shield generator, Gungan allies are immune to protection disruption. Whenever Phalanx assists another Gungan ally, that ally receives foresight for one turn. So uh, kind of odd, we don't have a lot of protects disruption abilities really except for you know kind of things like leia for example so uh you know uh, i'm already seeing uh, gosh it's hard it's it's boy we don't have charger yet but like they have things that sound like they could go to toe to toe with maybe some galactic legends out there and then uh whenever failing to assist another gun canal they, they gain foresight for one turn so there's still a couple things that seem pretty glaring like on defense i'm not seeing anything that will stop for example a genetic revit marking down the the shield generator uh you know the, the tank will taunt cool but everyone's already kind of marked on to that shield generator potentially so it, it's, it seems like a good tank doesn't seem like the tank that maybe is gonna stop everything but it makes sense if this tank was gonna stop everything from going after the shield generator holy cow this would be an extremely way more powerful team than they already are i mean they're already looking way better than the inquisitors um than the than the inquisitors than when they had the full team of five before that even with the grand inquisitor i would take this team over the grand inquisitor which is pretty nutty so it makes sense for our marquee level team i mean all right do you guys want to read this uh <laughs> galactic challenge i mean in my opinion the kit reveal is already ended that's it if you want to get the galactic challenge omicron um i is it as short-lived as a raid omicron no but boy is it a step uh, just a barely a step above that but in galactic challenges at the start of the first turn the allied shield generator gains 10 stacks of plasma shielding enemies can't assist if they are targeting the phalanx at the start of the encounter and whenever an enemy is defeated all gungan allies gain 100 percent evasion for one turn whenever a gungan ally uses a special ability for the next two turns all gungan allies have plus 50 percent offense and their base ability is exposed the target enemy for one turn and then whenever a gungan ally flicks defense down all gungan allies gain offense up for one turn and whenever a gungan ally attacks out of 10 they remove 20 percent to from the target enemy i don't know where to begin um number one i can't tell if cg does not understand their game or if this is a little bit more devious <laughs> um uh, of intent here maybe these galactic challenges are gonna be so hard you're gonna wish you're gonna have this galactic challenge omicron that's only the, the the most negative thing i can think about this because otherwise it just it seems a little tone deaf it feels like yeah they just again they don't understand their game the people that are playing the game what they want to invest in but here's the upside let me sell you on this the fact that this is a galactic challenge assuming it's not gonna mega gate the whole galactic challenge crate the upside is you can skip on it you know do you want to upgrade every single omicron and every new character no but uh this is gonna be one of those where guess you could save one you know because when there's a grand arena omicron you almost feel like you have to upgrade it or even uh territories you know you might want to upgrade those so there's always a crunch this is in a weird way alleviating the crunch you love how you, you like how i can like you know spin it in a positive way but uh the, the community at least from these first few comments were kind of on the nose of what i'm thinking here by the way great concept art of i, I think he should be our new character illustrator from tuscan meathead but yeah there's um <laughs> but here's what i'm saying right here looking forward to suffering through a dozen gc's that are borderline impossible without wasting an omicron it's gonna be unfortunate if that's really the true thing here uh this might be the first time i've commented on anything in the eight years i've been playing the game this omicron is the exact opposite of what we want we don't waste premium currency to do the stupid feats we want stupid feats removed if this omicron was a sim gc i'm all in baby but that's maybe what they're trying to do but the, again the problem is not every i mean maybe except the foreseeable future not every galactic challenge will require gungans it's going to require maybe stealth they don't have stealth but we'll get that done you're gonna need you're gonna need another team same thing of conquest no one wants omicron for very very specific feats it doesn't feel rewarding again the good thing is galactic challenges are always here but still nonetheless the challenges that are associated are always different but again we know they're likely going to push a lot of heavy gungan stuff in the future uh if this omicron was red crate conquest i'm also all in helping with the feats that may not even be active boom zero out of ten is kind of what we got so um yeah is he, oh yeah here yeah there we go no, see look here someone looking at the positive here i like that it's a gc me would probably be a be, be a good beginner omi as it almost guarantees getting two omis uh but here's the problem how many beginner people are getting a fully fledged <laughs> gungan team right now and then by the time gungans are free to play i can promise you they're not going to be as heavily implemented inside of the the galactic uh, challenge just like mandalorians were so important for a while 
And all of a sudden, we don't really see many Mandalorian feats because now they're kind of a mainstream team. So I like the optimism, but I don't think it's as optimistic um, as that. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Just what I'm saying. Oh, nice. An Omicron that will never be worth applying. Great. Thanks for giving us characters that doesn't have an Omicron so we can save our mats for a better tomb. Anyways, I think the tank is cool. I think it's great. This team has already been functional without the tank. With the tank, I can imagine it's only gonna be easier. Being able to keep that shield generator up a lot longer is a massive deal. Um, yeah, just kind of weird decision making there. Um, again, I, 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 they either don't understand their game in the community or they understand very well what they have in store. I guess history will unfold, my friends. Um, Oof. I mean, on the bright side, we had similar negative sentiments about Conquest and the Shorty Omicron, and Shorty Omicron is next to useless. Not very, I mean, that's fine, but it's not very helpful <laughs> in the grand scheme of galaxies. Anyway, passing the ball over to you guys. I don't know, maybe you guys like the Galactic Challenge Omicron. Maybe you want it. Who knows? Maybe they thought of something you didn't even know you wanted. It's like, you know, Steve Jobs, the iPod. No one knew they wanted all their music on that. Maybe it's so genius, we can't even see it. It's all right. I'm done trying to say, I told you guys in April Fools, I'm officially a part of this Capital Games payroll, right? <laughs> all right, guys, I love you. Thank you for stopping by. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys on Thursday. And what do we always say, Gary? Oh, yeah. It's great to be in the Gungan Army today. Oh.